here we have a numerical in which they are saying that uh, there's a resistance which depends on thermal uh, temperature and uh, they have given us the approximate law which says that r is equals to r naught into 1 plus alpha t minus t naught the resistance uh, is 101.6 when you have triple point of water temperature that is uh, if the temperature here is t naught then the corresponding resistance that you have here is r naught now when the temperature is normal melting point of lead if temperature is so much then resistance is 165.5 apart from that they have also told that uh, what will be the temperature if you have resistance 123.4 these are the data that we can extract and one more thing is we do not know what is alpha value also we don't know alpha value we don't know t2 value let us solve this in order to solve this first i'm going to take uh, the comparison of r0 t0 r1 t1 that is i'll be rewriting the formula like this r1 is equals to r0 1 plus alpha t1 minus t0 i need uh, alpha value to be found i know r1 r0 t1 t0 according to the question so i need to find alpha value if i need to find alpha value i can rearrange this this would be r0 plus r0 alpha t1 minus t0 that is r1 minus r0 divided by r0 t1 minus t0 this is equal to alpha substitute the values we know r1 value r1 value is 165.5 minus r0 value is 101 point 6 divided by r0 value is 101.6 into t1 minus t0 t1 is 600 kelvin minus t0 is 273.16 kelvin there is alpha value that i am going to get if you solve this further you will be getting the answer for alpha alpha will be 0, 0.00 one nine two one per degree Celsius per degree Celsius or per degree Kelvin. Now, if you rearrange this, you are going to get an answer of alpha is equals to one point nine two into ten to the power minus three per degree Celsius or per Kelvin. This is alpha value. Once you find alpha value, now you can take the comparison of R2 and R0. R2 is equal to R0 into 1 plus alpha T2 minus T0. I have to find T2. In order to find T2, you can rearrange the formula and you can write it. If I rearrange the formula and if I write it, I am going to get an answer here. R2 minus R0 divided by r naught alpha is equal to t2 minus t naught there is the reduction that i have done now substitute the values if you substitute the values r2 value is 123.4 minus uh, r naught value is 101.6 divided by r naught is 101.6 into alpha value alpha value we have found out 1.92 into 10 to the power minus 3 This is the equation that you are going to get. Continue solving it. You are going to get T2 minus T0 is equals to the numerator will be 21.8. Denominator will be 195 into 10 to the power minus 3. This would give you a final answer of 0 0.11179 into 10 to the power plus 3. That is, you would get T2 minus T0, T2 minus T0 is equals to 111.7. is the equation that you have got. One more step that you have to do here is you have to write T2 is equals to T0 plus 111.7. Now substitute the values of T0 
T2 is equal to T0 how much? T0 is 273.16 Kelvin plus 111.2 Kelvin plus 111.7 this would give you a final answer of 384.7 Kelvin. That's the final answer that you are going to get. 42. That's the end of the numerical.